it takes a lot of different elements to be successful as a, as a singer. You know, and I think that's my job to sort of point out to them, this is what you need to work on. This year we're only gonna work on your middle voice. We get a lot of either 17, 18 year old uh, young singers. A lot of them are very fresh. They don't know how to produce that sound that's gonna carry it over a 4,000 seat house or 3,000 seat house without a microphone. The first thing we do is talk about how it all works, how the breath works, and to have a natural breath, you know, because they all want to take these big breaths all the time, you know, and uh, so breath is the most important thing, it's, it's foundation. <laughs> Cesar took me I, my sophomore year. I was kind of a mess when I got to him, though. I didn't really know how to sing at all. Um, I knew I had a, a good instrument, but I didn't know how to put any of it together. Learning to sing well is great, but one thing Cesar knows how to do is not only teach the voice, but also the person behind it. What I needed was to build muscle memory, and he figured that out, and so when I was able to default to acting or moving on stage or inhabiting a character that muscle memory would take over. I started singing in college. I didn't start out being a singer. I mean, wanting to be a singer professionally. But I never thought really that I would do it. That I, that I would really, that's what I was gonna make a living at, you know. So I was lucky that I did do that for 15 years, you know. But again, going back, and I think this ties in with our students, with my students and all the students, that you have to be there for them because my teacher was always very, was there 100% for me. I have to be here for my students. I think he has a really physiological, biological mind behind his singing, and he works from that stance a lot of the time. It's not so much a, We'll try and feel it as if a scarf is levitating. It's more, um, you, the muscles are gonna pull down and tilt the larynx. And for me, being a relatively analytical person, that was super successful. Yeah, I always try to make a, a, like a two-year plan with all my students, you know, and, that, and we sort of assess that. Okay, in two years, here's where you are, you've come this way, or you haven't come this way, you know. And so, so they have a good idea of, you know, uh, from here to there, how to get from here to there. And it's my job to sort of monitor that. Studying with him is really unbelievable. We're always receiving news from, from the studio about our studio mates having success. Or if you look at the cast list for San Francisco Opera, you see so many of their names. And it's so motivating. And it's really empowering to, to see all of those people on there. It makes you feel like you can do it too. So every time I see one of my students, on the stage. You know, I just feel very really proud because I feel like we did it, you know, because I remember when they came in, like, for example, AJ, you know, when we started and then five, six years later, you know, he's singing on the, on the San Francisco Opera stage or he's singing, you know, he's making his debut in Frankfurt. And it's, it's you know, I feel proud. And I, and I think, okay, I did my job. <laughs>